Hi, this is Heidi Honeycutt, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Today we're going to watch the 1945 gangsta picture, Dillinger, which shocked audiences with its cold-blooded violence. Enjoy! The 1945 film Dillinger was based on the life and death of real-life notorious gangster John Dillinger. Remember Scarface? Remember Little Caesar? The enormity of their crimes was exceeded in real life by the man you're now looking at, John Dillinger. His smile... Dillinger was Lawrence Tierney's first leading role in any film, and probably the best performance of his career. He was cast because he genuinely looked like John Dillinger, but he delivered a really frightening performance that launched the rest of his career. You may remember him as the old mob boss Joe Cabot from Quentin Tarantino's Reservoir Dogs. Dillinger is an exploitation film presented as a real-life biography, but it was a great excuse to show excessive gun violence, crime sprees, and generally unsavory behavior that the restrictive Hays Code frowned upon. What's the matter? Anne Jeffries plays an amalgamation of various unsavory women in Dillinger's actual real life. The movie is a sort of abridged version of Dillinger's criminal career. It shows him assembling a gang and committing a series of brutal robberies that usually ended in bloody murder. And Tierney's Dillinger is a stone-cold psychopath. Honestly, it's riveting to watch him in this. <laughs> Introducing a new dynamic screen personality, Lawrence Tierney as John Dillinger. The real-life John Dillinger was legendary in the annals of American crime. Most famously, he mysteriously escaped from a prison in Indiana by walking straight through the bars of the jail cell. That didn't really happen. And it doesn't happen in this film either, but most of the major shootouts and his untimely death definitely did happen. 